بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Mr. Principal Tanab College and all the principals of Tanab Colleges uh, in the District of Shanghai Engineering, the faculty members, the parents and the students and all the allied members as well and very good afternoon. This is always a great privilege for me to be here in part of all the ceremonies which take place in Chennai College. This is first time during my tenure that I've got this opportunity to share my views to all of you. Uh, from the very outset of whatever I speak later, I want to congratulate all those who have got positions prizes and certificates in this ceremony. Special congratulations to Abdul Basit, who has stood first in Faisalabad board examination in FSE. This is a remarkable achievement. Also to all other two, the girl and the boy, and the students who have secured good marks and the position in the board examination. Also many congratulations to the teachers who were associated with their studies, who burned the midnight oil in realizing this success. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and my dear students, Chanar College has now become an icon in this arena of education, not only in this area, but also in the province. You must be proud of the fact that you have been associated with this esteemed organization. <laughs> Frankly, I feel proud to be the chairman of one of the leading institute of this province. The students, all those who are sitting in front or the back, I want your attention for some time. If I can have your attention for a few minutes, I won't take much longer. Today's event we recognize as the Parents' Day. This is the day of the parents. This is day for the parents. All those parents who have come here to see their children brighten, to witness their activities on the stage, to see how they are being groomed, to see what the institution is all about and to witness and observe these excellent achievements by various students. It's a big opportunity to, for you as well to learn a number of things and to share those experiences with other parents as well. The role of parents in education is of great importance and it is well recognized in the whole world. Let me share with you that a recent research and the study that shows that and indicates and rather confirms that half of the achievement of any student which is achieved in a school or an institution is associated with the factors outside that institution. So 50% 50, 50 contribution is from you, the parents. And the rest of the 50% contribution is from the school or the institution. I salute and I especially recognize the hard work, commitment, dedication of those parents, especially the father of 
Abdul Basit who was here, mother of Abdul Basit, the parents, father and mother of the other students who have achieved their position. That has been instrumental in achieving their position. So please recognize this thing as well. Without your effort, without the effort of the parents, it is never possible for an institution to groom a child, to make a child achieve the position which one can aspire for in the future. So you equally contribute to whatever is contributed by the institution. So congratulations to all parents as well. Rest, the role of parents is important because you also serve as the role models for your for your uh, children, for your sons and daughters. So you you try to give your students, your your children, an environment which is congenial for them to achieve these successes. So I request all of you, the parents who are here, to give that environment to your children. No matter whatever the situation is, whatever your circumstances are, to try to do that. And uh, I just recall the drama which has been uh, played here uh, with regard to a student who couldn't pass the entry test in medical examination and couldn't become a doctor. This is the reality. This is something which we experience from the, our real factors. This is a real story. The no, number of cases come in front of us one day or the other in which such things happen. And all of those students who are sitting here, they are here to achieve something. Some one of you want to become a doctor, some one of you want to become an engineer, some of you want to become a pilot, and so on and so forth. Sky is the limit. So, my request to all of you is to pursue the careers which you think the most fit for you, which you think closest to your heart. Don't try to choose a career which others are forcing you on, or others think that this is right for you. You can definitely counsel with your parents, you can counsel with your elders, you can counsel with those who succeed in life, you can counsel with your teachers, principal, the man you believe at, the ladies you believe at. But ultimately, try to do that thing which is in your heart. Because ultimately, you shouldn't have any regrets about what you did in the past, what you chose for the future. One should not feel any regret. Uh, like I, I give I give my example. I am basically an engineer. Many of you are uh, doing engineering nowadays. I am basically an engineer. But frankly, if you ask me from the very start, from FSE's days even, my destination or the path which I used to follow and I aspired to follow was to go for competitive examination. This was the target which I set for me. And I ultimately achieved that. I failed a number of times in achieving that target. But I didn't stop. First time when I took the examination of uh, CSS, I couldn't achieve the target which I wanted to achieve. I was allocated in a group which I never wanted to go. But I never gave up. I came into a second chance. And ultimately I achieved. So this is this kind of story. May, may work for you as well. So please set a target for you, focus upon that, show determination and through your willpower, through your 
futuristic objectives, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Secondly, I always say that never feel belittled. Never feel that you don't exist. You have to prove your existence in front of your parents, in front of other students, in, in front of your peer groups, in front of your elders, in front of your teachers, and in front of the society. I always say that if you, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl, but never give up. This is how you can achieve. Never give up. Never give up. Because the moment you gave up, this is the time of death. Whenever life is attached with you, whenever you have some time to cherish your moments, to do something, you have a time to prove yourself. The only time when you can give up is when you die. There is no other time. After your birth and before your death, the whole span of time is for you. So never give up. This is my advice to all of you. Many of you will definitely, this is the you know, inevitability of fate that many of us don't achieve what we want to achieve, but please try, try and try. Put an effort. Uh, last couple of things which I want to share with you is uh, Chanab College, for all of you, is one of those institutes, institutes in, in Pakistan which have come up with great an excellent uh, future, outstanding future. So you should be proud of that. We are doing a lot of things to improve various areas of Chanak Colleges Institute and other Chanak Colleges as well. As I told this is the icon. Whenever people ask me from various part of life, from Lahore, from you know, one of them called me from Karachi and I asked him that I posted in Chan nowadays and he told me, he told me that uh, there is a Chanak College in Chan. So people in entire areas, they know. A few days back, one of my friends called me from Australia. I don't know from where he, he got this information. And he asked me that, uh, uh, sir, I have learned that you are in Chang and uh, because I also lived in Australia before my studies. He was a good friend of mine. He was in Australia and uh, we had settled there. He had the nationality of Australia. He said that we are running a charity nowadays. And we have learned that there is a Chanab College in a very remote area of Punjab. We want to contribute something for that. So let me share with you, you are also popular in Australia nowadays. These are kind of association attachments which all, one always uh, wants to have or one always wants to cherish. So uh, be proud of that. Uh, we are doing, doing a lot on improvement of and uh, development of uh, Chanak College nowadays. Uh, we are not only focusing upon the academic side, but also focusing upon extracurricular activities. And for this purpose, this Paris Day, you have seen remarkable performances from various students. I cannot name each of one of them, but the drama uh, which was uh, played here by, or acted upon by a group of uh, students, and one student in, in uh, white Shavak means she was really awesome. She just came here and uh, I, I asked her, you have a great potential to act at any level, at any forum. If she want to pursue this career of drama or film, she can do that. 
It's a great potential. So this is the kind of diamonds you have in your college. This is a talent you have in college. I have seen in the morning exhibition of photography, exhibition of sketches and paintings. Really unbelievable for me. I never saw or I never observed or I was ignorant of this side of the story as well. So peoples are also being groomed here for their arts as well. Congratulations all of you who have displayed remarkable works, sketches, painting and uh, photography. Uh, I hope if you want to pursue those careers well, uh, you can. As far as development is concerned, uh, we are also doing a lot on development. Uh, we are uh, trying to establish various networks, we are trying to uh, establish uh, Olympic based uh, international standard swimming pool in Chennai College that will be available for you in the next couple of months. So we'll, uh, I have requested uh, Mr. Lodi to arrange special classes for all students including separately uh, boys and girls. Uh, so that would be a great opportunity for you to learn how to swim as well. And you can compete with various institutions like Atchison College, like all the biggest colleges in Pakistan. So we are coming up with certain plans. Uh, this uh, outstanding academic, Deputy Commissioner's outstanding, uh, outstanding academic achievement award and the prize, uh, that has been introduced first time here in uh, Chennai College and that will remain a permanent feature for this in future as well. Whosoever will get a board position, uh, board position who will come first, in the board will get 4 lakh rupees. Who will get second position in the board will get 2 lakh rupees. And whosoever will get third position in the board will get 1 lakh rupees. And all the teachers who are associated with these students will get their prices as well accordingly from 70,000 to 50,000 and 20, 25,000. Similarly for all the headmasters and headmistress, they will also get those prizes. So we actually want to recognize the students and the teachers at the same time for their efforts. The last thing which I want to share with you, that we uh, thought it a lot and I shared with you a number of times that um, we have to inculcate some core values in you. And we have devised three core values. This is for parents as well, who are sitting here with their students. Uh, the first value which we want to inculcate in all the students is an appetite for excellence. Hunger for excellence. You, you should achieve excellence. This is the first value. So our entire academic program, our entire extracurricular activities program will be focused and eccentric towards this side to achieve excellence. The second thing is tolerance. Tolerance is, you know, very, very important nowadays especially. To tolerate the views of others. Not take it as a hostile views from others. Just take it as an argument. If one is not agreeing with you, please let him not agree with you. If you are not agreeing to others' argument, please, I request others, to, you know, tolerate that view as well. So it's a two-way traffic. The one has its own mind, one has its own social behavior. One is living in own circumstances. So one has definitely its own uh, kind of character building process through which he passes through. So he can build a different argument. And that is the beauty of mind. Your mind is different, your mind is unique. Each, every person who is sitting here has a different mind. So please tolerate others' views as well. No matter the religious tolerance or education, study tolerance or argumentative tolerance, whatever it is. And the last thing which is I think the most important is respect. You should not only respect your class fellows, your youngers, your elders, but also your parents, every person in the society. These are the main values which 
students and the people in civilized societies used to have. And they are, civil, they are called civilized because of these core values. And these core values exist at the very heart of their education institutions. These values are taught there at primary level. How to be respectful, how to tolerate their views. So I would request all of you and special principal as well to devise all the principles who are sitting here. To devise a mechanism, to devise their planning process, to devise their academic process, academic and studies process, extracurricular activities process, in a way that it would focus upon these three values. They are at the very heart of it. Through excellence you can achieve any position. Through tolerance you can be a very good citizen of Pakistan. And through respect, it's also very Islamic. All the values are very Islamic as well. It's the very heart of our religion as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I won't take much time uh, than uh, I have already taken uh, from you. Uh, at the end, this was a phenomenal show for me. It shows and indicates how progressive you are and uh, what you want to be in the future, how much talent do you have in all the students and I must also congratulate all those teachers as well who have made these students played or acted here on the stage. Special thanks to them as well. So I, I would request you, of, all of you to uh, give a great round of applause for those teachers and those students who have acted today. And keep it up. Pakistan is in Nabar. Thank you. And uh, a good news at the end. You all must make a lot of good news for me. For me. There is an off day tomorrow and there is another holiday on Tuesday as well. Thank you very much sir. We are highly indebted sir. If you always take time to encourage the Chanabians in their presence. We will try to transform your dreams about CCJ into reality. Thank you very much sir.